Okay, we're back. So today we're going to uh, create your first uh, Binance account and uh, use it to purchase cryptocurrency. And I'm going to purchase a little bit of Ethereum. And then what I'm going to show in this video as well is transferring it from, from the exchange uh, into our very own wallet. And now it'll be a different wallet. However, still I'm going to use Exodus and um, show you how that process works. When it comes to account creation, head on down to the Binance website and set up a new user. I've attached a link in the uh, comments below as well. You'll land on this page. You just need to set up your, type in your email and password, something you're going to remember, and create the account. I'm not going to go through the creation of the account process as I already have one. Uh, however, it is extremely simple and you just follow the steps as it prompts you to put in the information. Once you create your account, you'll get prompted to do an ID verification and set up added security. Um, I highly recommend you set up the additional security, especially if you're uh, using Google Authenticator. It will prompt you, it will give you a QR code on the uh, start of the screen and you just scan your, download the app on your mobile, Apple or Android, doesn't matter, and scan it and it will and it'll prompt you and tell you step by step what to do. Uh, once you've done that, uh, run through your ID verification. This is important, especially if you need to purchase with uh, a debit card or um, do a bank transfer into uh, from your currency into Binance. Um, I'm located in Australia, so what you'll be seeing is a transfer of AUD. I'm going to show you the extremely simplified version where you don't have to worry about ex uh, looking at uh, trading charts or anything like that. Um, it's just click and play. So here we are. I have signed up and I've logged into my account. This is the landing page. And by clicking on the actual Binance logo, it will bring you back here. Uh, as you can see, there's a bit of information there. So coming back up to ignoring all of this for mo for the moment uh, you would have already set up your ID and uh, security so when you're in security you would have enabled Google Authenticator you can see there's various types of security it is up to you what you uh, choose to do to add the additional security I, I use Google Authenticator uh, uh, as I quite like uh, how it works so once that's set up and you have uh, verified your account, because again, you cannot use a debit card or do a bank transfer without verification, you'll land over here. And I'm going to buy some cryptocurrency now. And like I said, I'll focus on Ethereum. As soon as you click buy, obviously it knows which country I'm in <clears throat> and uh, what their various forms of payment. So now you can use your credit card for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use a credit card. Uh, however, uh, I would be, if you're in Australia particularly, you can use other payments and do a pay ID transfer, which would be no fees. I'm very sure the credit card will get charged a small fee for debiting your card. However, if you do it by pay ID, uh, it will be instant and no fee, and you can then use it it'll appear in your balance and you can just quickly use as part of your balance what you want to purchase. So as you can see, it's got a quick list here. It doesn't have every coin in the in the world. It's just got a, a small batch of coins. I was just testing there. So let's pick Ethereum. Minimum spend on credit card is $25. I'm going to click buy. And over here, as you can see, it's asking for uh, my information I will I will put in that information and come back and click the pay now button and come back to see what happens. So here we are I have put in all my information that it asked for and I have clicked confirm and the next screen has brought me up telling me how much I will get based on uh, this price and you can see there is a fee of 25 cents and I have um, bought total of 25 AUD so I'll hit confirm So here we are, I'll just have to wait. 
and done. In fact, as soon as it's done, it's got a little link here, go to wallet. So I shall go to wallet. Now keep in mind when we go to the wallet, it may show you my balance as a whole of all the different cryptocurrencies I have, some of it on here. So to keep it simple, I shall type it. So you can see I have ETH, what I bought, what I have available. And now the next uh, piece of work I want to do is, well, I've purchased this. I plan on holding it a long time. I don't want to leave it on the exchange. So I want to remove it off this exchange. And as you can see over here, right next to it, I have a deposit, withdraw or trade. I'm gonna click withdraw. Here we go. Now, this is this is where I focused a lot on the wallet setup and ensuring everyone understood how you know you navigated and where you received and sent from. So every different exchange will work on exact similar concept where you can either withdraw or deposit. So once you have funds on the exchange, you want to withdraw that and send it to your own wallet. So here we are in the withdraw screen, total balance. It's it's showing the maximum. ETH, I can put in my address over here. So uh, over here, network transfer, I will, it's an ERC20. Anything on the Ethereum network is called an ERC20 token. Now this should get fixed. I'm gonna load up my Exodus wallet. So this is my wallet over here. Remember earlier I said we want to receive funds to this wallet. So I've clicked receive, this is my address. I can clearly copy over here so I don't make any mistakes, I don't need to type it up. And let me minimize this, I'll put the address here. What will happen when you put the address, the ERC20 will automatically load up because it, it should pick up its an ERC20 address. But again, remember Ethereum or any tokens on the Ethereum network, and I'll touch on that in another video, but for now, um, any tokens on the Ethereum network are ERC20 tokens. In this example, we are transferring Ethereum and we've got 0 0.04185000. I've got my address here. I know this is the address because I copied and pasted it. If you're worried, just quickly look at it again. I'll look at those last digits, 979020. And if I look over here, 979020. It's been copied and pasted perfectly. I want to withdraw all my Ethereum, so I can click Max over here and it'll automatically load up. Now, you can see over here that not only will you charge an initial purchase fee, when you're withdrawing from your wallet, you will pay a fee as well. And every exchange will have a different fee. Uh, Binance is pretty good. Uh, normally, some exchanges have higher fees, so you want you want to make sure it's you're getting from one of the big exchanges to ensure you don't end up paying a lot of fees. So over here, there's a decent transaction fee. So by the time it ends up in my wallet, it will uh, I will have 0 0.036. Again, it's the purpose of this tutorial. I want to show what happens, so I'm going to click submit. It, if I was making such a small purchase normally, I would probably do a few purchases before I tr make the transfer so I don't waste too much money on fees. But again, the safest place for you to keep your funds is in your wallet, not on an exchange. So you, you want to ensure you're managing uh, your funds safely and keeping storing them safely. So here we are, I shall hit submit. Now, it has asked me for, because I've set up my verification, uh, it has asked me for a bit of information, so I'm going to just put that in and hit submit. So I have added the information. So in the earlier screen, what you saw was all the security that I'd enabled in my account. So it, it sends me an email with the code I have to input and then go into my Google Authenticator app and add that code at the same time in the below field and hit submit. And once I did that, here we go, it's sent. I'll load up the wallet. Now, one thing to remember, you see I've sent it. It will take time to appear in your wallet, so there's nothing to panic about. Uh, what you can do, it hasn't given me the, usually it will, here we go, if I click withdrawal history, 
it hasn't shown it's still processing so just give it give it a bit of time what I'll do is I'll come back here in a couple of minutes and we'll be able to see as soon as it's registered and it's been processed it will pop up as a transaction and say pending that it's coming uh, going to be added to my funds in the wallet so let's let's wait again don't worry it, it just takes sometimes the ethereum network can be congested because there's a lot of activity going on at the moment it, it has picked up a little bit on on ethereum so it may take a little bit of time and in general coming off the exchange can take a bit longer because the exchanges have their own ways of processing things uh, rather than if you were just sending from one of your wallets to a friend's wallet which would traditionally be a lot quicker so here we have, just coming back to that transaction history screen, I was on uh, deposit. So when you click on withdraw over here, I can see, see the latest withdrawal. It's still processing. So as I said, it'll take a little bit of time, but it's still there. You can even click on the cash component and you can see that, that was just the purchase I made and, and it shows you a full history of what you've done. So I'm showing you click on withdrawal. As soon as it's processed, it will actually show, it will give an updated and saying confirm blocks and give a bit of information around that. I'll, I'll capture that as well so that you can see the entire process. I'm just looking at this here, when we click on it, I can clearly see it's saying processing. However, I heard a little ding on my Exodus wallet, so I'm just going to go there. Uh, you can see this is the address. Here is the transaction ID. This is, if you click on it, it'll load up. Etherscan, this is actually showing you on the Ethereum blockchain, that is your transaction um, that has taken place on the blockchain. If it wasn't, if it was still processing, it would give a time counter over here, but you can see it's successful. It's It's got eight block confirmations a minute ago, and it's gone from Binance to me and the amount along with what you paid in fees and whatnot. So coming back, to this it's still updating as processing here but clearly on the blockchain it is registered and done and let me load up my exodus app you can clearly see that just a moment ago my bal total balance has updated and just a moment ago i received my you can see uh, i have a transaction id this will be the exact same as the one i showed you on the page uh, the value in USD. Now, this, this is a new a new functionality in uh, obviously in the Exodus wallet. Uh, it must be here for many, many versions, but when I was using it, it wasn't. Uh, but it's a great way of just keeping track of what the transaction was about. As you can see, once you, if you use your wallet quite a lot, you'll end up with quite a lot of interactions. So if for tax purposes, things like that, you just want to note what the ID is, you've received funds from someone, you can make notes on them, which is, which is extremely handy. Okay, so so that's, that's, there we have it. That is your first, you've, you've signed up on Binance, you've uh, completed your security and your, uh, account uh, verification process and then you've purchased your first bit of cryptocurrency using a credit card uh, however for for the fees section where you saw that we got charged a bit of a fee you know there are other other ways of of uh, purchasing cryptocurrency say in australia you can actually do pay id transfer and there are no fees involved in that so the only fee you would pay is when you withdraw your cryptocurrency uh, out of out of the exchange and also there would be a your traditional buying and selling fees on your exchanges but no credit well, uh, no processing fee if you've used a debit card like we got charged before in the video okay so uh, there we have it after this i will uh, do videos on various other wallets for different types of cryptocurrencies as well. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope hope this has been a bit uh, has been helpful and you know it helps you feel a bit more secure and uh, purchasing and transferring your funds uh, and using cryptocurrency as a whole.